Hi again. So now let's do the most basic thing. We compare actually the two tables. Again, our assumption was, or the assumption of our colleague was in this example, he sent us this nice server list with additional information. And you are the owner of the original server list. You have servers and racks. And he or she just thinks he sends you an update. But of course, you have to make sure that it's the same list, right? So the same IDs. How do you make that? Very quickly, I will show you that. Firstly, I normally I copy these files into one file if I do some sort of quick check. There's also one reason that I have a comprehensive overview later when somebody asks me two weeks later, I still have this comparison available. And it's easier sometimes with formulas. So I'll do this. I'll do a right click on this server status sheet in this uh, file the colleague sent me. Then I say move or copy, then create a copy. And then I can select this other file I have opened here. And then I can just click OK. And now I have them in one file that's more convenient. So now what do we do? Please think a second about it. When you compare two lists, there are three options that can be. First option is that, for example, this ID 23140 is in both lists. The second ID, the thing is that one ID is only in the right list and not in the left list. And it can be that it's only in the left list and not the right list. So that's what some people forget. You have to check into both directions. You have to check what is only in the left list and what is only in the right list. And the rest is, of course, in both lists. Okay, so we want to find the deltas. What is only here and what is only here. And uh, I show you this function you should use for this is called count if. Then I open the parentheses and then it has two arguments. The first one is range and the second is criteria. Range is where shall this function search and the second is what should it search. So where shall I search? What should I search? Where is in this case because I want to search this ID here, this, this ID in A5. I want to search here. I go into the other list. Then next argument. What should I search? This ID. Okay. So where should I search? I went into the other sheet and I selected the whole column. I always select the whole column and I think that's very useful. You should do it as well. And the second is what should I search? only this specific ID. Now I close the parentheses, I press enter and then I have one because it counts how often this ID appears in the other list. So one is good. One means this list, this um, system ID is in both lists. In the best case, you would have only ones here. Okay. So now I drag this formula down until I'm at the bottom, right, like this. And now I see a lot of numbers. It's usually one or zero or sometimes two. Um, why do we have so many zeros here? Please have a look at column C. Then you see that we have servers and racks and we are talking only about servers here. We are only comparing the servers. So we cannot assume that in the server status is a rack, but we should check on that. That's something very useful. So before we work more with it, we should give this new helper column a nice name. I would call it um, because that's just for me and it should be a good name. I call it how often in server status. I like these kind of talking names. They talk to me and I know what they mean. So when it's one time in server state is good and when it's zero times in server status is bad. But of course only if it's a server. So let's just do a quick check. I 
I deselect server and I select only the racks and then this should all be zero but it's not you see here's zero 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 perfect 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 but here's one one that means and it's good that we checked on that that means that we have one rack here which is actually a server in the other list so that's a mistake either on this list or on the other list and I made that because this sometimes happens that really you assume okay they sent me the server list so then I can compare only my servers but that's sometimes really not the case and then it's good to always double check and in the next video we do the delta so we compare the other list against this list